All right, welcome everyone to the last uh, last and final piece of uh, the puzzle that is configuring the 8645 module. So um, in the past videos we've renamed it and changed its equalizer, which right are quite uh, quite important uh, quite important aspects. But uh, I am still missing one very important modification, and that is disabling the microphone and uh, the battery status indicator. So the battery status indicator is just a um, right. It's just aesthetic, but the microphone really does need disabling because every time you you turn on your speaker and you're on a phone call, it basically interrupts your phone your call for like I don't know. 15 seconds because it reconnects twice so it's very cumbersome and very annoying so uh, to, to do this we will be using the uh, configuration tool uh, 3.0.70 so floating online is the version uh, 3.0.64 and that really doesn't work but the .70 version uh, seems to have fixed all the problems Unfortunately, it is still very old and it doesn't work too well in under Windows 10. So I've just tried it and it um, doesn't really work. So we'll also need to be using a virtual machine running uh, Windows 7. So um, I'll link in a another video done by someone else on how to install Windows 7 under Windows 10 uh, using VirtualBox. So I'm very happy with this. So I've had no problems up to now and it's actually quite fast. So not too bothered by this at all so let's uh, let this start and uh, right first things first we're gonna we're gonna download two programs uh, the blue suit 2.6.6 which is the last version so this is um, this is a pretty modern program so this actually runs very fine on the Windows 10 so it's uh, it's been released in May of 2017 I believe so May of this year and so that doesn't need the virtual machine, but the, the other one, so uh, this one, the configuration tool, 3.0.70, does actually need it. And so I'll go ahead with, with you guys through all the steps and uh, install them. So. so as to make this guide as complete as possible, so let's let the Dropbox install. Not install, but finish loading, alright, today. Alright, so... So this one I can't download, but I can open, so... Yeah. Also much for the nice... Um, well, let's just copy it here and suppose that you guys downloaded it. Alright, so uh, installing Blue Suit is pretty straightforward. You will need to click... Uh, you will need to click, um, I think, change one setting, but apart from that it's pretty fine, so why is this not starting? Overwrite all. Alright, so this is fine, but this you want to select USB SPI, and I think I forgot to mention it's supposed to be, so it's best if you use a 32-bit Windows 7. I didn't try with the 64, but I can tell you guys that uh, 32 does work. Let's see if the driver is here. So I did have this installed previously, so you will have to restart it. I don't because I'm cooler. All right, and then the configuration tool. Go ahead and install this one. This one, all you need to do is maybe change the folder so that they're all in the same place. And install this as well, and that should be done. All right, so First things first, we're going to make a backup of the of the settings on our device. So open PS Tool, select OK after you've connected the uh, SPI programmer to your computer. And um, more details on how to actually connect the board to the programmer, uh, you'll find in my first video on um, renaming the CSR8645. So it's called like how to rename the 8645. Or something along those lines and there I go a bit more in depth into the pinouts and little tips and tricks and so on and so forth so once you're here your board is connected your program is connected you want to click dump go onto the desktop and this is going to be our full config default All right so let this save this should take a little while Alright, 
so um, it's pretty much all you want to do in uh, blue suit. So now we're going to go over to the configurator. Uh, open the uh, open the device. So open from device. This should reset the device and uh, then actually read from it. All right. So um, yeah, I'm um, gonna gonna go over all the modifications I, I'm doing in this program. So first of all, I changed the uh, default uh, tone value volume. So they are a bit too loud and for, for my taste. And then we want to go to audio tones. And uh, at least while it's connected to the programmer, it does beep pretty constantly and quite annoyingly. So this is because it thinks the battery is low. So since I'm never connecting it to an actual lithium-ion battery directly, I'm going to remove this. Be careful not to remove all of these because it does, does fuck the module up pretty badly. So I have managed to recover it, but it's pretty tough. Alright, so then we're going to go to uh, hands-free profile features and this is where all the all the action happens so you would be tempted to think that disabling this would, would make the battery go away it doesn't and also as tempting are these toggles here for the microphone settings which the disabling of which does absolutely nothing as well so what you want to actually do is disable this one thing here this one tick for the hands-free profile configuration, so HFP. And then that will disable the microphone and make this act like just a Bluetooth speaker and also remove the uh, battery transmission. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of it. So you want to now go ahead and write device. And perhaps also write the PSR, right? So full config uh, no mic no battery all right just for safekeeping and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to it if uh, you guys run into any problems don't uh, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments and, yeah good luck and have a good one bye, bye.